Chef Mr. West and welcome back to the cooking channel. Welcome to another video my viewers and subscribers. Welcome back. So today I'm making some some juice it's with um, beets and carrots. And then I'm just washing the carrots now because they're all the carrots and the beets so all peeled already. Instead of grater in it, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna use the um, the juice man, and uh, just blend it and then I strain it and make it like that. So you just watch the um, I'll let you see the progress as we go along. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. God bless you, and we will catch you on the other side. So now I'm prepping the carrot for the blender. Things like that, you don't have to do it too um, too small. You know, also dice up the um, the beef. This beet here that I have, it's very, it's big. So I have a lot. So I'm, I'm just, but I'm just using one. I have other purpose, you know, for the rest of it. This is how you do it. It's, it's not, it's not really difficult. You know, you have to just work it the way you want to work it. So this is why I'm going to use the scissors and just cut it. Of course, you can use the knife if you wish. It doesn't matter. Look at that. So I'll let you see the progress as we go along. So just stay tuned. Always remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. And if you're watching this video for the first time, you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe today. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much for your subscription. God bless you. And we'll catch you on the other side. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so here we have the, um, putting some in the, um, blender. I'm gonna blend it. Pour some water in there, so I'll let you see the progress as we go along. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome back. So I'm getting ready now to, um, to blend this up like i said before instead of greater in it i am um, i'm blending it up easier quicker process look at that look at that this is what i'm talking about just like that and that is done stay tuned Yes, my viewers and subscribers, welcome back. So now we're uh, giving it the final training. And then we're going to sweeten it. Look at that. As you can see in this trainer, there's not much trash coming out. Because this is the second training with this training. You have to make sure... We get all of that, that trash out. And this is what we're doing right here. Carrots and beets. Juice. Take this up. And just pour it in there like that. As you can tell, it's very um, clean. Not much trash. See, that's the only little bit of trash there that, you know, got away from, from the spillover and that. So that's it. And there we have the, the juice now ready to be sweetened. Let me see if I can give you a close-up. Look at that. Carrots and beets. So just continue to stay tuned and we'll let you see the progress as we go along. Yes, my viewers and subscribers, so 
getting ready here to sweeten the um, the juice. I'm going to be using a different method today. This is much easier. So I just show you this method because of course the other method is the um, where you just add the milk or the sugar and you just sweeten it you know accordingly. Now I'm going to put some um, some ground cinnamon. I'm going to shake some cinnamon in there. Ground cinnamon there. I'll try to give you a close up if I can. I'll, I'll see. I'll grate some nutmeg. Some nutmeg in there. All of these spices good. We just give you um give your juice a, a nice flavor. So you It is you did not make on top and the cinnamon so you just stay tuned I'll let you see you know because I'm gonna use the, the the blender and sweeten this all right we'll catch you on the other side yes my viewers and subscribers so there we have the the juice in the um in the um, ninja ready to be sweetened this is the method that we're using today so i have some sweetened condensed milk in there a little sugar dark um, brown sugar also have um like a three quarter teaspoon of salt very important the salt is gonna you know bring up the taste so you don't have to put uh, so much milk because if you don't you put the salt then you you probably use two cans of milk and it still won't taste sweet so that's very important that you understand that that in sweetening you know anything like porridge or or stuff like that you know juice like this tip a little salt in there and that will just balance out um, your oh boy. yes my viewers and subscribers so there we have it the um, juice is in the ninja I'm getting ready to sweeten it this is the method that we're using today of course you could use a conventional method where you just pour the sugar or the milk in you know the entire juice and you just um use a spoon and you just stir it around until everything is all dissolved this time we're using the um the juice uh, the 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 ninja so i put some have some sweetened condensed milk also have some um, dark brown sugar a three quarter teaspoon of salt i have some ground cinnamon and grated nutmeg so just watch this it's, it's going to all dissolve in the um in the juice all of that look at that so what i'm going to be doing now i'm going to be pouring all of this here in the other um, rest of the juice and then just stir it around and that's it if it probably need a little touch up i just put a little more milk or whatever it, it needs so stay tuned and we'll catch you on the other side yes my viewers and subscribers so welcome back now so what we're doing here now we're going to pour the um the rest of juice that is sweetened and the unsweetened one and just let everything just blend in together there it is look at that So with the milk and everything, this is the color for the beets and the um, carrots. Then I just taste it, pour a little in my hand. I notice it could take a little more, a little more. So could take a little more milk. So I'm gonna put a little more milk in there, but just to give you an idea as to what it looks like that is the juice there that's what i'm talking about when i say beets and carrots let me um let me stir it around a little more so you can see the full color there look at that all right stay tuned 
delicious. This is the real deal. Beets and carrots, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Yes. Remember to like up this video, my viewers and subscribers. Share, subscribe, and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. If you ever have you ever tried this? Carrots and beets. Look at that. Let me give you a close up. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. God bless you, and we we'll catch you in our next video.